Uh, you may have seen it uh, a few weeks ago, it debuted on Fashion Runway at the New York Fashion Week with Brandon Maxwell. And uh, also, it made a pretty big splash when we showed the concept in Detroit in 2016. Of course, I'm talking about the Kia Telluride. to my channel if this is your first time here then welcome i'm so so excited for this video this is probably one of the vehicles i am most excited for that's coming out soon which is kind of weird because it's a kia but it is the brand new kia telluride they brought this out to the texas auto show which is at the state fair if you're in the dfw area you can go check it out if you're in the state fair if you don't know there's an auto show at the state fair which is pretty cool and i cannot wait if you don't want to hear me talk about it you can go ahead and move on to this time right here i'll have it linked down below as well just to check it out in the video but i am going to give you a little bit of a background and all of that so the background on this vehicle this is pre-production so that means it is a very very special model it was made in um, collaboration with brandon maxwell for his fashion show where it was actually debuted, which is a kind of interesting concept to see cars in fashion. But if you think about it, they really do go hand in hand with the full design aspect that go into vehicles along with the design aspect that go into clothes. So anyways, I, I'm still super excited. We still don't have all the details. We still know it will be a V6 engine of some sort, how they're going to manage that. I don't really know. Um, We'll find out. We'll still get more info. Hopefully, I'll also get more info because if you are going to SEMA, they will have some Tellurides at SEMA for a different experience where you can do a little off-roading. And those vehicles there are going to be a lot more, they're just going to be a lot closer to what the actual Telluride is compared to this one, which is really cool. But there's a lot of embellishments and accents on here that obviously will not be a part of it. And I actually have at the end of this video a just the what happens when they're unveiling and all the info and stuff we got from Kia. They overnighted this car from California for her. So it's very last minute. Very exciting. I just can't wait. Um, as more stuff comes out, I will give you info on the Telluride and I will definitely drive it hopefully in SEMA. Um, I should have time as long as I make it to Vegas safely and all of that. So please enjoy this video. If you do like it or have any questions or anything, let me know in the comments down below and let's just get into it. Looking at this vehicle, I really like how it looks. It is just the bigger, badder version of the Sorento with seating up to eight people with a bench or seven with captain's chairs. We can go inside in a minute, but just looking at it, it just looks like a rugged Land Cruiser. There's a lot of embellishments on here that obviously will not be a part of the Telluride. I can't wait till we see it. It will actually be fully displayed at the Detroit Auto Show next year. And they're gonna have some at SEMA as well. But if you look at this paint color, it is awesome. They actually said this is going to be an option for the vehicle. You can see like the coat rack, all these fun little embellishments are great, but the wheels are going to probably be about the same. There's like these leather hooks on there you see not gonna be part of it, but it's kind of neat to see just a different version of this vehicle. That grill looks really good. And checking out the inside now, there's the leather right there, isn't gonna be part of it, but it is really cool how they set all of this up. These seats will be the same, I believe. And now the back seat, you can see there's actually a lot, a lot of room. Looking all the way up to the front, most of that stuff doesn't actually work. I can't wait to see. The back seat was actually pretty big for this vehicle, which is good so you can put a lot of people back there. When this uh, slot came up at the, the last minute, and I do mean the last minute, we jumped at the chance because we would be able to show you that it was just so Texas. And uh, in fact, we have to pay rush shipping to get it here from California to fill this slot. But uh, this vehicle is actually making a hat for crashing parties. Uh, you may have seen it uh, a few weeks ago, it debuted on Fashion Runway at the New York Fashion Week with Brandon Maxwell. And uh, also, it made a pretty big splash when we showed the concept in Detroit in 2016. Of course, I'm talking about the Kia Telluride. So some of the, the features, and you're gonna get a chance to come up 
up in here and look at it later. Some of the features we have double saddle inspired, double stitched leather trim. Check out these mirrors. In, inside on the door panels and on the dash and the grab handle, we have uh, custom front and rear bumper treatments and uh, a snorkel for, uh, for river fording. I mean, who doesn't like a good water crossing? I know I do. And we've got uh, these early 20 inch uh, off road tires wrapped in these uh, black, uh, black custom wheels. The spare has been custom mounted to the back. There's wood and leather uh, treatments everywhere, details everywhere. And uh, you know, this just screams take me out on an expedition to the Texas backcountry. But please keep in mind, this is just a pre production uh, mule and it's highly customized. And as of yet, I don't have many details to share with you about the Telluride, but I can tell you this. It's gonna come up next spring, the production model, has a 2020, 2020 Kia Telluride. Uh, it's gonna have a new V6 engine, it's gonna seat eight passengers, and it's gonna be built here in the USA, up at our plant, uh, just outside of Atlanta. And uh, before then, we're gonna show you actually a couple more versions of this. Later next month in uh, Las Vegas at SEMA, we're building a pretty gnarly off-road track, and we built some highly customized Tellurides that are going to do some pretty serious off-roading on that track. I don't know if you saw our Kia Sedona that climbed uh, the Hell's Canyon, Hell's Gate, Hell's Gate, I believe, up in Moab. So it's uh, so got some pretty serious bonafides uh, going for it. Uh, but in the meantime, please come on up, take a closer look. So Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it so much. And again, if there's any cars you want me to review or anything you want me to talk about or any just info you have that you want me to tell you about anything, let me know. Make sure you subscribe, all of that. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see a lot of this information a lot sooner than I can get it on YouTube. So thank you again for watching and I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.